A mind that is fast is sick. A mind that is slow is sound. A mind that is still is divine. When nothing upsets you, you are at the beginning of the path. When you desire nothing, you are halfway on the path. When nothing becomes everything, you are perfected. Happiest is one who expects no happiness from others. Love delights and glorifies in giving, not receiving. So learn to love and give, and not to expect anything from others. No amount of prayer or meditation can do what helping others can do. Desire nothing except desirelessness. Hope for nothing, except to rise above all hopes. Want nothing, and you will have everything. Live a sincere life, be natural and be honest with yourself. In the spiritual life, It is not necessary to have a complete map of the path in order to begin travelling. On the contrary, having such complete knowledge may actually hinder rather than help the onward march. The deeper secrets of spiritual life are unraveled to those who take risks and who make bold experiments with it. They are not meant for the idler who seeks guarantees at every step. Those who speculate from the shore about the ocean shall only know its surface. But those who would know the depths of the ocean must be willing to plunge into it.
Love has to spring spontaneously from within. And it is no way amenable to any form of inner or outer force. Love and coercion can never go together. But though love cannot be forced on anyone, it can be awakened in them through love itself. Love is essentially self-communicative. Those who do not have it, catch it from those who have it. True love is unconquerable and irresistible. and it goes on gathering power and spreading itself until eventually it transforms everyone whom it touches. Light can penetrate any amount of darkness, but no amount of darkness can penetrate light. When you paint, you forget everything except your object. When you are too much engrossed in it, you are lost in it. And when you are lost in it, your ego diminishes. And when the ego diminishes, love infinite appears. There are very few things in the mind which eat up as much energy as worry. It is one of the most difficult things not to worry about anything. Worry is experienced when things go wrong. But in relation to past happenings, it is idle merely to wish that they might have been otherwise. The frozen past is what it is. And no amount of worrying is going to make it other than what it has been. But the limited ego mind identifies itself with its past, gets entangled with it, and keeps alive the pangs of frustrated desires. Feelings and emotions are only the creation of mind and energy. Love is the creation of the soul.
It is not so much that you are within the cosmos, but that the cosmos is within you. The experiences are so innumerable and varied that the journey appears to be interminable and the destination is ever out of sight. But the wonder of it is, when at last you reach your destination, you find that you had never travelled at all. It was a journey from here to here. 